Okay, welcome to the first video in learning HTML and CSS. This first video, we're gonna kind of ease into things and it's gonna be pretty short. We're just gonna talk about a code editor and a basic structure of an HTML web page. So first things first is we need a code editor in order to write HTML and CSS. If you are on a Mac, you may want to use text edit. If you're on Windows, you may want to use Notepad. But instead of using the default editors that come with a Mac or Windows, we're going to use some of the most common editors out there. So I'm just going to do a search for Sublime Text. And this is a very popular editor that a lot of people use. You can download it for Mac or for Windows. There's also another one that's called Atom. And I believe that's at atom.io. You can download this for Mac or Windows. But there is also another one called VS Code. So you can do a search for that and you'll see here that it's code.visualstudio.com. So we can download this editor for Mac, for Windows, or for Linux, and this is going to be the code editor that we're going to be using throughout this video series. So when you land on the homepage, you can click here to download it for your operating system, but I already have this installed. So I'm just gonna do a search for Visual Studio Code and open up my code editor. So the first thing that I'll want to do is just create a new file. And we're going to create a simple HTML file. And I'm not even going to create the structure yet because I just want to show you if I were to just type in here, hello world, and I were to save this on my desktop, I could save this as index.html. And if I go ahead and open up this file, you'll see that we get the text on the screen. So it kind of looks like we just created our first web page. We saved it as .html. We're able to open it in our browser. Nothing too fancy but we actually didn't create a correctly structured HTML web page. There are a few things that you'll need to add inside of your web page to make it a standard page. So to make this a standard HTML web page, we are going to need to add some common tags. And a tag is something that we're going to refer to quite often. So let me go ahead and just show you an example of a tag. And I'm just gonna show you a basic paragraph tag. So when we go to create a tag, we will use the less than sign and then we will add the specific element tag. In this case, it's going to be P for paragraph. We'll then do a greater than sign, and then we add in our paragraph. So I can say I'm a paragraph, and this is going to be the content inside of the paragraph. And then whenever you open a tag, you also need to make sure that you close a tag. So you're gonna do that with the less than sign, forward slash, and the same character of the element that you are creating. So here we have a standard paragraph HTML tag. And learning HTML is pretty much learning about all these tags and how you can use them in your web page. So let's go back to creating our standard HTML web page. And I think I'm just going to start it off with the document type. So this is going to be at the top of every single HTML file that you create. You're going to say doc type HTML. So this is basically just letting the browser know that this is of document type HTML. And then we need to add our HTML tags. So we're going to say HTML, and of course we open the HTML tags and then we also close it. And then we also have the head of the document, and the head of the document is where a lot of our CSS will be defined, the title of the HTML web page, and just a lot of information about the web page itself. So nothing that's displayed on the page is actually going to live in the head tag. So we're going to open the head tag and then close it, and then we're also going to create a title tag. And we're going to say, this is my first web page. And then we're going to open up our body tag. And this is where the actual content of our HTML web page is going to live. Everything that we put inside of the body tag is going to be displayed on the web page. So let's go ahead and add a paragraph tag. Hello from HTML. So let's go ahead and save that. And let's open this up and reload. And you're going to see that we get hello from HTML. So we have our paragraph tag. How about we also add a heading tag? We can do that with H1 and we can just say, Hello world. So we save that, we go back here to our browser and reload, and now we get our heading tag and our paragraph tag. And that there is our standard HTML file. So this is just the basic structure of an HTML web page. It obviously doesn't look too pretty, but we're going to get to that later on down the road. So HTML is the structure of our page, and when we get into CSS, that is actually going to be how we stylize these tags and make it look a little bit prettier. So that is it. That is the first video in the books. I just wanted to keep this very simple because I kind of wanted to get you pumped up and get you excited about 
how easy this really is going to be. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to show you everything that I've learned throughout the years of being a web developer and uh, kind of some tips and tricks that I've learned. So let's close out for now and I will see you in the next video.